All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of ASA Ask Sky Anything, the series where I answer, believe it or not, your questions. So we got a good bit of questions today. So first, I just want to point out that I'm not going to be answering every single question from the last episode. If I didn't answer your question, it's nothing personal. I just, I'm only ever going to answer 10, blah, 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 blah. Now let's get into the question, starting with AK Brick Films. And he says, ASA, what are your favorite videos to make and watch? So I think I'm going to go with ASA because honestly, it's my favorite series to make. I absolutely love making these videos and then seeing your guys' feedback on it. I love answering your questions. It's honestly the easiest series to make too because all I had to do is record audio then put it over some like video game gameplay and then add pictures on the screen so you know what I'm talking about. I get to add Spongebob quotes which make it funny and so it's just it's my favorite series to make honestly and probably actually it definitely is my most loved series so that means you guys like it too so that's really cool and our next question comes from mr j gaming m and he says like star wars set fighter so quick story in case you missed last episode mr j asked what my favorite lego set was and i asked him to dumb it down for me so he kind of did so i'm i'm gonna dumb this down though even more and just pick my favorite set from 2019 my favorite lego star wars set from 2019 and that's kylo ren shuttle so there you go our next question comes from ace gamer studios and he says asa what superhero movie are you looking forward to the most have a great rest of your day well thank you very much ace gamer i think the movie i'm looking forward to the most is thor love and thunder i absolutely love Thor, so that's gonna be my pick. Our next question comes from Dino Dinos. I totally said that wrong. Bricks, and he says, Let's try this again. Where did you get the name of your channel? For your channel, not of. Several different things mix, mix, mash together in creating my name a long time ago, back before I even had the idea of starting a YouTube channel. It was actually on my Xbox when I first created the name. The movie The Last Jedi was coming out. I was super pumped about it, and I absolutely loved Kylo Ren at the time. He was like, possibly my favorite Star Wars hero character not hero um and so I just absolutely loved that several things with the sky part so I should probably start with that actually um I grew up playing a game called Skylanders I, I left that out before I've answered this question before actually but I've always left that out I don't know why I grew up playing a game called Skylanders when I was a kid and I absolutely loved it and then also just things like as an adult now I just love the sky so uh, I just mix the names together so that's where the sky comes from um and then like I mix the part with Kylo Ren the Ren part so Sky Ren. So hopefully it answers your question. I think I answered that in the worst way possible, but what just happened? Next question comes from Brick Studios and he says, What is your favorite Lego YouTuber ever? Hmm, I don't know. I like Eminar for for an example. Um, he's a great big YouTuber, but I think my personal pick would be I like the smaller channels. I just think that they're more engaging, they're more friendly. You feel like you actually matter to them. Like, for an example, if you comment on like Eminar, I'm not I'm not, I'm not trying to bash Eminar here, so when I say this, don't take it like that but if you comment on one of his videos he's probably not even gonna see it versus if i comment on a smaller channel they're gonna see it and reply and you just feel more appreciated so i personally i prefer smaller channels so i just love a lot of small lego channels so i'm like I, i'm not gonna list a bunch of them but there's a lot and our next question also comes from brick studios and he says what is your favorite lego minifigure of any theme i'm just gonna answer one to dumb it down so i'm gonna answer my favorite lego minecraft minifigure is the b girl from the beehive set that came out in technically it's a 2021 set but it came out in 2020 and like around christmas time so but that's my favorite lego minecraft minifigure all right and now we got a long one from the lego pork he says hello hello the lego pork good morning slash night slash evening slash afternoon those are out of order low yes they are um, <laughs> anyways he says what is currently your favorite pop song and what is your favorite classical price if you don't have one you can just share one you think is nice so to answer your question though personally i just love instrumental i do listen to a good bit of music but um i don't really like have like a favorite i guess besides like instrumental music so like i use a lot of instrumental music for my videos from people that i really like i just like instrumental though so i don't really have like an answer for your question so next question comes 
comes from EK Stylehard and he says, what are your thoughts on the Lego Daily Bugle set? Well, I'm not going to get it because for starters, I'm not a fan of Lego Marvel, but I do actually think it's really cool. It's a great set for lots of minifigures. Like I like how many minifigures come with the set and it does look pretty cool, but I just don't care, honestly. Like I think it's just because I'm not a Lego Marvel fan, but it's just not that impressive to me. I like the minifigures. That's about it though. And it, I believe it's $300. So I'm just like, ugh, that's a lot of money to spend on a set, you know? Next question is also from EK Starlord and he says, have you seen Futurama? If so, what are your thoughts on it? No, I've never actually taken the time to sit down and watch it. I do know what it is, but I have no idea like what the story or anything is about. I mean, I'm guessing it's about the future. I've never taken the time to sit down and watch it though. Maybe someday I will, so I don't actually have any thoughts on it, so sorry. And our last question comes from Buddy Bricks and he says, ASA, are you going to buy any of the summer sets? If so, what sets? Ooh, okay, that's a good question. So I hate to be super vague, but I'm just gonna come out and say it. All of them. Just the Star Wars ones though, of course, and a few of the Minecraft sets. I'm not gonna buy like every single theme, but I'm hoping to buy every single one of the Lego Star Wars sets, unless there's gonna be like a UC set or like a master builder that I probably won't get that one. I'm not actually too familiar on what's coming, um, but I'm hoping to get all like the play sets. So that's going to be really fun. And then do reviews on them, of course, and then you know, all that fun stuff. And then a few of the Minecraft ones. So yeah, but I'm going to turn that question around and ask you guys that. What Lego summer sets are you hoping to get? So yeah, comment that if you want. And then also that's the end of the video. So thank you all very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoy and remember to ask a question or two so that way I can answer them in the next video and I'll pin my favorite to the top. That's a lot to remember, huh? So yeah, that's it though. So thank you guys for watching and have a wonderful day.